welcome back to the my 24 plan channel it is christina i just wanted to jump on real quick to show you my new moterm a5 folio um this is the gray croc and i have not cut the ribbons out which is amazing for me um this has brown lining in it and so it is super super cool it's kind of stiff um i just got it so it's it's really stiff <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's just like my blue, my dark blue one and I really, really like it. Um, the Moterm brand is just really good, I think, especially for the price point. Um, but the, the book that I have in here is a A5, which is not Moleskine Expanded. And please correct me if I'm wrong. Is it supposed to be maybe A5 Slim Expanded? I'm not really sure. But I'm going to pull this out in a second, but let me first show you it inside since I already have it in because it's kind of hard to put these books in and out and it compromises the binding. Um, so here you can see how much room you have. Now, it's not even enough to kind of close this over. It's going to grow some um, but I'm not going, I'm going to have probably some paint in here, um, because this is acrylic paint here in the front, but other than that, I'm not thinking that it's going, I mean, it's going to have pen, maybe highlighter, but it will probably get some more paint added to it. But other than it's not going to have any more tip ins or anything like that. Cause it's just, it's just going to be too big if I do. Um, but it seems to fit okay. It doesn't feel like it's too small. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like it's too small for the book. And I do kind of have it, I could pull it more. Do you see what just happened there? So it's a little bit better on there. And here's a side view here. You know, so there's a little bit right there, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. All right, so this is kind of how I do my book, is kind of fold it back on its own. Whoops, let's see if I can get this untangled. All right, so this is the size. Let me find something. Here's my Hobonichi Day Free. Okay, so you can see this right here. It's, but it's the same it's the same height but it's one fat finger <laughs> are you laughing at me because I'm pretty funny <laughs> but do you see how much that is um not as wide it's like maybe an a5 slim I don't know maybe they call it an a5 and it's really not I don't know anyhow but that's what I bought it for I wanted a cover for it I mean I like that it has the elastic closure but I did get a soft cover and so I was like, man, I just really want some, I want it in something. And I don't prefer having notebooks with the pen loop that are just hanging out by themselves. So yeah, and if you haven't seen one of these super quick, here you have it. All of these slots here, all the way down. It's kind of stiff, so I'm kind of stretching this out as I'm showing you. And then this pocket, your tuck-in pocket, again, your tuck-in slit, one more, and this little pocket here. And yeah, the pen loop is just like as stiff as it can be, like not opening. And the two markers, they both have the same end on them, but, and I did cut them out of my blue one. And then the huge back pocket. So that is what I'm using in case I forgot to mention, which I think I did. This is my Bible study notebook. So it's to record my daily thoughts as, um, or my thoughts as I do my daily reading through the Bible in chronological order this year. And there's a corresponding blog, or not blog, but a podcast that goes along with it. And so you see why I kind of fold that back typically? It just de destroys the cover. I can't get it in. Um, so once you kind of get it in there, like leave it in there, you know, until you're finished with it. There we go. All right. Well, look 
that was nothing. There's one more view there. Um, but anyway, there's a, a corresponding uh, podcast that's like five or six minutes long each day that corresponds. So I uh, take notes on that too. And so that's what that's for. Um, I do want to add some, um, I don't know, maybe I might add a little bit of sticker. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know what I'm going to use these pockets for, but, um, yeah, just started it and I kind of went back and forth too. Like I'm trying to decide what I want to, what I want to actually write down and what I just kind of want to keep marked in my actual Bible. Um, and so this is again, as I always say, a work in progress, but I just wanted to share it with you so that you can see the Moleskine expanded because the covers that I was finding were way out of my price range and there's just there's hardly any options like seriously and so I just wanted to let you guys know what this looked like in a Moterm A5 folio. If you have any questions or comments reach out to me in the comment section and yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!